Okay. Hello, Miss Leventis. Right now, I'm going to be showing you uh, the steps of bioremediation, the, do t the two different types of bioremediation, and a simple demonstration on a smaller scale. Uh, and my microorganisms are not to scale with the cup and the water. Uh, so here we go. I'm just going to adjust it. Move it a little farther. Okay, so right now I have my water that I'll be pouring into this cup. I have my oil and I have my microorganisms, which I'll be using to demonstrate the steps of bioremediation. And right now I'm going to be doing the in situ bioremediation. And the in situ bioremediation involves treating the environmental matters, in this case, the oil spill on site. So right now I'm just going to be pouring the water into the mug. Just about to the top and I'm going to be pouring my oil. In this case I'll be using canola oil. And right now, I think you'll be able to see that the canola oil has risen to the top of the mug. And you'll see that little yellow. I'll just pour a little bit more so it's more noticeable on camera. I should have really not put as much water. Uh, so here we go. So as you can see, the oil is floating on top of the water because it is less dense. And the water is staying on the bottom. Now, if we do mix these two... Uh, let's just say I stir them, it will not really make any difference because the oil is less dense, so it will just float right back up. So right now, the water is representing the ocean or lake water that has been contaminated, and the oil, the oil that has been spilt from a ship or a small boat. Now, as you can see, these are my little microorganisms that we will be using to demonstrate bioremediation. Now, these microorganisms will be removing the problem and we'll be getting rid of the oil completely now it'll be absorbing the oil in this case the microorganisms right now I'm using sponges and it'll get rid of the oil that has been spilt into the water and about 95 to close to 100 percent not exactly but close to 100 percent but over time will be removed right now this is a very short video so I won't be able to move 100 I won't be able to remove 100% of the oil from this cup. Now, right now, I'm just going to be placing my bio organisms into the contaminated water. And right now, what is happening is my microorganisms are absorbing, or in this case, eating away the oil and turning it in to harmless substances. Now, bioremediation is all natural and is very favorable. It's very favorable because it's inexpensive and all natural. You will not be paying as much money as you would using machinery to remove the oil. And as I said, stated before in the beginning of the video, it's in situ bioremediation, so it's being done on site. Oh, it's about to go over, so I'm just going to leave this for a while and just start talking about why bioremediation is a good method of removing oil from contaminated waters. Now, as I've already stated, it is inexpensive, all natural, it gets rid of the oil completely, and there's no trace of oil left. Now, many animals in oceans, rivers, depending on where it's located, are very, har very, are very harsh conditions, and the animals will either die or survive but have consequences at the end. Now let's just take a simple bird for example. If a bird was exposed to the oil, such as the oil in here, it would gather up on its feathers because feathers has a certain property that will absorb oil. That's why it will stick to the feathers, they will not be able to fly, they become immobilized, and because they are not able to go hunt for their food, they will die. And this 
this doesn't really apply to sea creatures. It's a different case for sea creatures. Now, if this gets into the water in a river or ocean, the sea creatures such as fish, or maybe even if it's up north, far enough up north, seals, uh, it'll not just attach to their skin, but will also be ingested into their body. Because it'll be ingested into their body, it'll harm different organs in the body, such as their kidneys, liver, and even brain. It could cause brain damage, kidney failure, and even liver failure, causing them to die. This oil spills around the world ha happen quite a lot and kills many, m I mean many, animals. Bioremediation is all natural, so you're not using any chemicals that could further harm the animals that have already been harmed in these states. And uh, the oil is, in some cases of bioremediation, are turned into harmless substances such as water, carbon dioxide, and uh, oxygen. Now I'm just going to place a little bit more before I take out uh, this, these. So now I'm just going to be simply just taking them out and putting them on this paper towel. Now in, in, more, in more advanced cases, uh, you wouldn't really have to take out the pardon the microorganisms because they they're nat they're natural in the area most of the time and this process can occur naturally but majority of the time it is not enough so uh depending on who is solving the problem the government would have to uh put more of these microorganisms into the water and one of these examples of these microorganisms, sorry, Miss Leventis, I am not able to pronounce, so I'm just going to have some help from my phone uh, say this word, because I'm sorry, I really, I tried hard to try and memorize it, but it is a hard word to pronounce. Let me just raise the volume on my phone so you'll be able to hear it. Uh, let me just raise my phone's volume here. Sorry about this, Miss Leventus. I'm just going to play that one more time. Oh, did I, did I play this one more time? Or? And this is one of the organisms that come naturally and will be used in certain areas to get rid of the oil. Now I'm just going to finish taking out the rest of my handy microorganisms that I've used for this project. And as you can see, I will take more pictures of this because I'm not sure if my camera on my computer will be able to show it properly, but about 90 to 95 percent of the oil has been removed just by a couple minutes of these microorganisms being in the water. And if we let this, uh, let these microorganisms, or so-called in this uh, demonstration sponges, lay over time in the cup, they would be able to remove even more percent of the oil in this water. Now, this is all I have for this video. I hope you liked it. And I hope that uh, my video gave you a more in-depth uh, let's say description of bioremediation and how it works and thank you very much for watching this Ms. Levin.